everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Welcome to Explorations of Me. Um, I'm doing okay, uh, coming off uh, a few days of some excruciating pain, but I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm out of bed, that's a good thing. So, um, here we go, Explorations of Me. What we have this month is we have, our prompt is... Um, a blast from the past. It could be art, it can be school, it can be a memory, um, anything you'd like it to be, but we're going to do a blast from the past. Now, um, I'm actually going to do a little bit about childhood. I don't have a whole lot of good memories about childhood, but I do have one, and that's the one I'm going to show you today. So, I am going to fast forward through this process and then what I'll do is I'll come back at the end and show you what I've done and explain it to you and we will go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy.
guys. All right, so here's what's happening. <laughs> I am not feeling this page. I, I have struggled with it from the minute I sat down to start doing this. So I'm going to show you what happens when I don't like something. And, you know, a lot of people are so concerned about, oh, my gosh, you know, I don't like my page. I ruined it. No, you didn't ruin it. That's what gesso is for. Okay. Um, I am going to gesso over this page because I don't like it. I am not happy with it. I kind of want to leave that there. So I'm just going to, yeah, we'll go right over it. Um, this is what happens. It's no big deal. It's a composition notebook, right? So a lot of this, um, or I should say this, journal is about explorations of me. So it's exploring me and what I feel and what I think and using prompts to do so. Well, guess what? This prompt just did not, well, not the prompt. The idea of where I was going with this prompt didn't work for me. So I am gessoing it. I'm going to um, dry it with my dryer, and then I want to do something. I don't want that to get on that ribbon. Ugh. Of course, I pick up one thing, 12 things fall down. It's not the way it usually goes. This is just cheap dollar store. Um, what do you call it? Uh, da, 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 wax paper. See? Can't find my words this morning. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start over. I do not like this. I didn't like how it was going. I like the idea of what I enjoyed about, you know, um, a thought or a throwback or a memory of childhood, but it just wasn't, it wasn't working. So like I said, I'm gessoing. This is a real thick, heavy gesso. So what I'm going to do, once I get this gessoed on here, I'm going to kind of sketch around in it. Why not? Let's give it some background texture. Let's do it for a reason, right? Or use it for a reason. Yeah, we'll just use it. So let me go. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, this is just a composition notebook, but I'd like to kind of keep some of it here on the page. So look at that, all done, fresh start, it's all good. And then I'm just going to use the end of my brush here. Okay, I just wrote I didn't like where it was going. Time for change. Old memories. A fresh new start. Okay, so that just kind of gives it, gives it a little bit of a something, right? I was going to keep my washies clean, but you know what? I don't care. It's all good. All right, let's dry this up real quick. And we're going to start new on this. And I have a better idea of where I want to go with this. So I will be right back. All right, this is kind of dry, but um, that's all right. We're going to take this. For some reason I'm into these blues and teals right now. And I want to spray the crap out of them. Spray them. I just want to water them down quite a bit. And then what I'm going to do... just want to take the paints and just let them do their thing on here. more of this brown or this darker blue. Come on darker blue.
Okay. Now I just want to dry this. This is going to take me a couple minutes. I am going to take a little bit out of the binding just because I don't have it sealed. Oops. And then I put more back in it. Cindy, you idiot. <laughs> huh? Hey, life happens, right? All right, let me dry this up and I will be right back. All right, so now I've dried that. I've got some Marabou. These are ink acrylic sprays. I'm sorry, acrylic sprays. Um, they're by Marabou, and they um, you can get them in Jerry's Artorama. And the thing I love the most about them is they are acrylic. So what does that mean? That means that when you have your knob clean, they will spray right. Um, that means that when you put them down and they dry, they're permanent. They're not going to lift, they're not going to move, they're not going to reactivate. And for some reason this one I've got to get a new top for. Because I don't have a lid for on this one. I don't know what happened to all my lids. A lot of times I can do this, I can get the... Um, Nope. Okay, so this one we're going to use like this. Um, but like I said, normally if you leave the tops on them and you clean your tops, your uh, sprayers off before you put them away, you won't have this issue. I have this issue because I don't have a top for it and of course I'm not the greatest on cleaning my supplies like that before I put them away. So that is my error, not Marabou's. While I'm thinking about it. See, if not, you leave an acrylic paint on there. And that will end up drying up. Same as acrylic paint. And it's like a plastic, um, like a plastic seal on it. So, alright, there's those two. Let's see if this one. Again, same thing. I don't have a lid for it. So it's created a seal on it which means I can't get into it, which is fine. Now, this page right now, I am so much more happier with this right now than I was even thinking about with the other one. And that just goes to show that, you know, don't take what you've done as, as stuck in, in stone because change it. If you're not liking it, change it. All right, time to dry this one up. All right, so I got this dried up. Now, what a difference. That just makes me so much happier than what I had here. I'm just, yeah, much, much happier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this process. I just wanted to show you what you could do if you really mess something up, which I basically did yesterday. Um, this is a new day, and I just, I come back in, I saw it sitting here on my desk, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> So it went away, and I'm so much happier with this. So remember, don't forget, um, so I'm, I'm reminding myself of what my prompt is, which is a memory, um, whether it be art or school or whatever the case may be. So I've got a couple die cuts here. These are Diane Reevely's. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to finish up my page, uh, work on it, and let you guys watch the process, and I'll chat with you in the end. I hope you guys enjoy.
Right, guys so this has been a journey for this page let me tell you <laughs> it's been crazy but I am loving where it's at I I am loving the path that it took well not quite so much the memories but the path that it took and let me just explain a little bit about what this is um, see all these lovely houses up here yeah I was in foster care and from the time I was 10 until I was 14, um, this is what my life looked like. I went, it seemed like, from house to house to house to house. And, you know, you never really knew where you belonged. And, and I hope I'm not triggering anybody. But, as you know, in foster care, um, you don't always get the best families. Um, let me just leave it at that. So foster care life can be really difficult uh, it's not a fun not a fun journey and I'm sorry I don't care what anybody says not all foster parents are out there for the kids okay that's just my little two cents and my experience but the reason I, I threw this out there because this is just a flashback and it was so funny because I was looking through my die cuts and I saw those houses and that's what it triggered was this memory and you know it's not all bad it's um, it's made me who I am you know I'm a lot stronger because of it um, a lot harder to get close to but hey it is what it is it's part of my life and um, yeah it's all good now when you first saw me start out on this I was working on a swing set and that is one of my good memories um, of childhood and the only thing that was bad about it is I remember swinging one time and I had my mouth open because I was just laughing and or talking which is what I normally do anyways um, and a bee stung me on the tongue <laughs> never forget that man that hurt but anyways um, yeah I was gonna do a swing set and I was gonna do myself on a swing and it just it wasn't working for me it, it didn't feel right I wasn't comfortable with it so this makes me much more comfortable so here's a throwback to one of my memories as a child or in childhood however you want to look at it and it's foster care and this is what your life feels like um, when you're in foster care you really never know which end is up you don't know when you arrive home at night if you're going to be sleeping in that bed or going to be moved to a totally strange family you never know so um, yeah there it is all right I hope you guys have enjoyed this crazy process um, for this month's explorations of me if you have any questions don't forget to put them in the comments below and check out the other artists because I was I can't wait I can't wait to see what memories they have or what throwbacks that they show um, whether it be art childhood or any other so I hope you guys have enjoyed this as always like comment share subscribe give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys again next month. Thank you so much for watching and have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.